So today we're at Pace Center Home here in Princeton. We're looking at the Melrose model. It's 1,277 square feet, three bedrooms, two bath. You're gonna be shocked at how open the floor plan is. Come take a look inside. The first thing you notice when you enter the home is the number of windows. Although it's small in square footage, you can't tell with how open it feels with all the natural light that is coming inside. Moving past the living space, we go to the back of the home where you will find the primary suite. Here you'll have a spacious bedroom with an attached bathroom that does include a double vanity as well as a walk-in shower. Again, you'll notice the number of windows that are located throughout the home, which definitely helps the overall feel of the house. Leaving the bedroom off to your left is your entrance to the backyard. You'll actually be surprised by the size of all the lots in this neighborhood as they are quite generous, as you can see here. Upon re-entry into the home, you will find the laundry room as a separate closet located in the home. The kitchen is located just off the living space. As you can see to the left, there is a separation between the kitchen and the front door, but does have those open viewpoints that do allow that natural light to come in. The other two bedrooms are located just off the kitchen. You'll see that both bedrooms are quite spacious and allow for plenty of room for both furniture and bed. All right, we're here at the Town Park subdivision by Pace Setter. We're gonna be talking to the sales rep here. He'll talk through what it looks like if you were to come in here and want to build a new home with them, what's their process. So let's go inside, we'll have a chat. So when it comes to Pace Setter homes, a lot of our architecture is brand new and fresh. So one of the things you're gonna notice with us is gonna be higher ceilings. Yeah, just nice little touches that you won't see anywhere else. Kind of like a little opening here. So you're not walking into a closed in hallway for yeah. some hour. It just allows it to be open. And so a lot of your homes have something similar. You have this opening and then this goes to the outside. That's the inside. A lot of our homes are very unique. So one plan is not just like a cookie cutter that has different variations. Okay. So it's the, the whole architecture is completely different. Okay. That's what I like. So just, like just an example here. Having this open it seems like a small thing, but it makes it just feel so much bigger. It does add uh, yeah. quite a bit of opening to this. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and small things like rounded corners yeah. instead of just, you know, granite sheet rock corners, decor rocket switches, those are going to be standard for us. Yeah. Um, five and a quarter inch baseboards, lots of windows. Okay. One thing you'll notice with ours, higher ceilings, but lots of windows that allow in that natural sunlight. Okay. So it doesn't feel dark. Ceilings are low, kind of claustrophobic. Everything's bright yeah. and open. Yeah. So, kind of open concept is really what we're all about. Okay. And so, and this this one is how big? This floor plan is our Melrose floor plan, twelve seventy seven square feet, a little right. under thirteen hundred. Okay. But it feels much larger. All right. You know, eighteen hundred square feet now is what it used to be, you know, twenty years ago. Mm -hmm. So everything's all open. Yeah. And it's just nice little touches that you'll notice too. Okay. Even when it comes to like our cabinetry, you know, we have different types of colors, different types of styles. So if you decide you want to build, 
we can actually pick what sort of cabinets you want instead of just the builder telling you this is what you're gonna get. Okay. How long is, uh, if somebody wants to build new, how long is the timeline? <laughs> Uh, used to be about you know six to seven months. Okay. Now it's looking anywhere from about nine to eleven months. That's a real busy time. Okay. Really any building. And so they, they pick their location and then timing wise, when do they go pick the like the cabinets, the countertop, and everything? Good question. So once we once we determine that okay, this is the lot that we want. Yeah. Because the home the home is one thing, but the lot's completely different. Yeah. So you want to actually pick the home that works best for you, but also pick the lot that number one is going to fit on, and you know, where, like for example, some of the lots that we have out here, they back up two creeks. Yeah. They have trees and everything. Uh -huh. around it. So um, you know, you want to pick that out first. Then we'll go and do a contract together, where we will pick up your structural items. Uh huh. Once the structural lines are selected, signed off for, you would come to the design center, which we actually have it here, and you'll on pick site, up your selections. Always on site, not mm -hmm. our locations. Always on site. Some some uh, communities, you'll actually go to a, a bigger studio. Okay. But for for our product here, our crafting series, we can all do it right here. Okay. Yeah, we yeah. can move it in a yeah. second. But um, any other features about like when you decide this is the lot that I want? What do you? How, how do you help somebody through that process? So what you what you want to do is figure out the home, yeah. right? The home's the most important part. Then we go to go to figure out the lot. And what I do is I actually bring them out there and say, okay, so this is where we can build because certain floor plans you have a repeat yeah. pattern. Like you can't put a certain floor plan. Yeah, they don't want the same homes all right next to each other. So you point those out, and then so if if it's a big family and they love a big size backyard. Our standard lots here are still 120 feet deep, so that's pretty decent size. Okay. You get a pretty decent backyard. But if there, if you go through the discovery process and you've known that, okay, so this is this is their lifestyle. This is what they're trying to leave, and this is what they're trying to make. Right. Uh -huh. So you would you would show larger larger lots, corner lots, whatever else, and then actually go out there and just show it to them. Okay. And so I like to pick out about three or four different lots, and then we'll go drive around and visit them. Okay. And that way they can be like, I like this one better. And we're done. Perfect. Very simple. And when it comes to is making your selections. So again, we have many different types of styles of carpet, different levels of carpet, different, when I was talking about cabinetry, everything from like light stain, yeah. different types of style, to And you'll be able to pick. And we actually have different packages too. And there's way more selections. Everything from uh, cabinets to your backsplash, your tile workout, to your type of brick that you want to select. We allow that as well. So do you have rules around this neighbor? This, these two neighbors can't have the same brick yes. color? Yeah, every community has that. Okay. So um, yeah. Okay. And that's one of the that's my job. Right, is to let them know that okay, this is what you can select, this is what you can pick out. So you start start neighbors off hitting each other. Yeah, I mean the process. The color, you don't that one. Yeah, well the, <laughs> the process is to make it as simple as possible. Right? Okay. Because they're making a selection yeah. on their house. It's exhausting. Like, it is. It can be exhausting, but you can try to make it as much fun and uh, pleasant as possible. Okay. So that's our goal, at least. Um, anything? Anything else? Somebody should know when they show up here to, to design them. Um, you know, one of the things that I truly recommend, I know that people are excited and they want to bring their family, their aunts, their uncles, uh -huh, their kids. all of their kids. I, I their recommend family, all their nieces and nephews. Exactly, exactly. From my experience of doing this hundreds of times, I have found that if it's just you and your spouse or whoever else, keep it that way. Okay. Don't no one else. Because what happens is people say, Well, I like this and I like this, and you start to second guess yourself. And then you start to think, well, but they like this. Well, it doesn't matter what they like, it matters what you like. Uh, so I strongly recommend no distractions. Give me an hour, two hours at the most. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll go through it. And typically what I do is I'll enter everything in and let them sleep on it. Okay. And I'll make like a little um, pamphlet for them to show them that yeah, these are the colors that we selected. And that way they can go home and take a look at it. And then the next day before they sign it, they can say, I want to make these changes or do this. Okay. So once you sign that's it.
All right, so this community has got this great little park. And uh, so here's some benches for parents to sit, watch their kids. And then you can see right now it's, it's uh, December, so there's no leaves on the trees, but there's a nice walking trail in the community that kind of goes around and, and brings you up to the other side. You can see the community here on the map. It's located just off 380, and you can see that it kind of loops around there just off this main street there. As you can see, it's so close to pretty much everything you could want right there in Princeton. It's right across from Princeton High School, Clark Middle School. You can see that there's plenty of shopping around there, plenty of places to eat. As you scroll in here, you can see that you're also down the street from Walmart. So it is centrally located and has the convenience of being close to pretty much anything that you'd want. As we scroll out here, you can see it in relation to the nearby cities. You'll see that um, McKinney's just off there, off 75 at 380. So you're just a very quick drive to pretty much anywhere you want to be in the local cities. Here's a quick view of what you'll see as you drive into the community off of 380. So it's very close off the main road. You'll see the model home we just passed on our right. If you go to your left here is where the townhomes are. But as we go down this street, this is that loop that you saw in the map. And this is where all of the single family homes are located. Right here at the end of this street is where you'll find the park, and that's where you saw that playground um, that we showcased just moments ago. As you're coming back up around this side of the loop, as we turn the corner is where you will see that model home there at the end, and then the entrance to the community on the left. If you have any questions about this neighborhood or other neighborhoods, we help our clients get the best deals on new builds. So if you're looking for new construction here in the North Texas area, get a hold of us. Our contact information is down below in the note section.